Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. My name is Kathleen. In today's video I wanted to go ahead and share with you guys the books that I read during the month of March. Now I didn't have as great a reading month as I did in the month of February. In February I read nine books but in March I did read six and I think that's still pretty pretty good. It's way more than I used to read before I started my booktube channel and in the month of March I actually read some pretty pretty great books and I also read some pretty average books. So let's go ahead and get started with my March. March wrap up. Alright, so the first book that I read during the month of March was Wires and Nerves Volume 2 Gone Rogue by Marissa Meyer. And so this is the continuation of the Lunar Chronicles series after the Lunar Chronicles has ended. And this is the second and final volume in the Wires and Nerves graphic novel series. And so this is actually the final book, the official final book in the Lunar Chronicles world, which is actually very, very bittersweet because I absolutely loved how this book ended but the Lunar Chronicle series it's such a great great series and I wish there will be more books come out but who knows what Marissa Meyer has planned in the future. When I first read the first volume I wasn't impressed. I liked the story but I just felt no connection to the characters like I did in the original Lunar Chronicle series and so I gave the first book a 3 or 3.5 rating. So when I went into this book I was very hesitant because I wanted to be able to experience that emotion and and all of those thoughts and feelings that I had with the original Lunar Chronicle series that I didn't get in the first volume. But I ended up loving this book. It was a definitely a five star rating. I loved how it ended. I really enjoyed the story and I got to connect with all of the characters all over again. This was actually the Once Upon a Read Alongs book pick of the month for the month of February I think. If you guys would like to check out our live show on this book I'll leave it on the card as well as down below for you guys to check it out. Alright and then the next book that I read during the month of March was Legend by Marie Lu. This is the first book in the Her Legend trilogy and this was actually a reread. I read this book many 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 years ago when it first came out I believe and so I decided I wanted to reread this book because I wanted to continue on and read the rest of the books the other two books but I didn't remember anything about the series I forgot everything so I wanted to reread the book so I finally picked it up again and I really loved it I have to say the first time I read this book I gave it five stars but this time around I did only give it four stars while I loved the stories and I really loved the characters I didn't feel connected to it as I did the first time around I I read it in particularly with the romance I don't like the romance in this book and eventually I grew to like the relationship in this book but I just originally I did not and I felt really cringy when I read some of this, the romance scenes but regardless I really enjoyed the story it's amazing how much detail I forgot about the books there were so many important details that I forgot and I'm glad that I reread the books all right and then the third book that I finished during the month of March is a book that I actually started reading in February it took me so so long to read this book I cannot believe it it took me about three to four weeks to read this book because I really have to push myself in reading this book and while I did enjoy it it was just so slow and it is Glass Sword by Victoria Aveyard so this is the second book in the Red Queen series I read the Red Queen I want to say I read it back in December and I really enjoyed it I gave that book four stars I thought it was action-packed obviously I do agree when some people say that it is not the most original idea when it comes to a fantasy YA book and I do agree but I really really liked the first book and I heard some mixed reviews going into the second book so I was very wary going into this one and everything that everyone has said in regards to this book were correct it was very slow and honestly it was very boring at times. I really sometimes had to push myself to pick up this book and continue reading. I cannot believe it took me as long as it did to read this book. I enjoyed some parts of it but other parts I was just like can we just get on with the plot of the story? It just got to be so repetitive and boring so I did give this book three stars I will be continuing on with the rest of the series because I really do want to find out how it ends one other thing that I didn't like about this book is that Mare really got on my nerves sometimes there were some scenes where she really reminded me of Selena Sardothia from the Throne of Glass series and while I do enjoy the Throne of Glass series I don't like Selena this is an unpopular opinion I'm sorry but I don't like Selena Sardothia and I think she's very arrogant and really just sometimes very selfish and that's how Mare sometimes came across in this book. She just sometimes refused to listen to others and only listen to herself and came across as I'm better than everyone else and 
and I didn't like that attitude so another reason why I gave this book three stars but again as I said I will be continuing on with the series all right and so the next book that I finished during the month of March was Ready Player One by Ernest Klein. this also took me a really really long time to read it but not because I wasn't liking the book not at all it's because I put this book aside in order to really focus on finishing Glass Sword so it took me another again like about three weeks to read this book just because again I set it aside but I really really loved this book I loved all of the 80s reference in this book even though a lot of it I didn't know because I was not born in the 80s but I loved it regardless I loved all of the uh, video game references because I love video game so I just enjoyed this world I felt like this book had what War Cross by Marie Lu was missing while it was a video game inspired book it missed some key points when doing a video game inspired book it honestly that book focused too much on the romance within it and left everything else aside this book had romance in it but I feel like the romance in this book kind of contributed to the story and really contributed to what the world was about which is this really cool virtual reality video game and now the movie is out in theaters and I cannot wait to see it I haven't seen it yet so I am planning on either seeing it this weekend or next weekend all right so the next book that I read was another big disappointment because this is a book that is really hyped up on booktube and it is we were liars by E Lockhart I don't even know what to say with this book I thought the plot twist at the end was really interesting because I I honestly despite all the hype I did not know what the plot twist was so when that plot twist happened I was really surprised because I didn't know I was like oh but throughout me reading this book I felt like there was no plot to it all we really got from this book is these teenagers hanging out every summer my entire time reading this book was just like get on with it what is the point of this book i don't understand i did end up giving this book three stars it was interesting enough where i wanted to find out what happened but otherwise i just it wasn't worth the hype in my opinion all right and the sixth and final book that I read during the month of March was honestly the highlight of my reading month and it is Obsidio by Amy Kaufman and Jay Kristoff. This is the third and final book in the Illuminae Files and honestly it is so so bittersweet because this is one of my favorite series of all time. I talk about it on my channel all the time. It is the series that really made me fall in love with sci-fi books set in outer space. I love the writing style just like the format of it with emails and video chats and video surveillance while I love the fact that we got an ending and it was everything I wished for I honestly wish there were more in the series because I just love it love it love it so much so I have to say despite the fact that I love this book immensely definitely one of the best books that I read this year I have to say I don't think this is my favorite in the series I think that this is my least favorite in the series so my favorite books in the whole series is Illuminae being my favorite favorite and then Gemini and then this book this book was everything that I wanted in the Illuminae Files ending everything ended perfectly like Illuminae is just out of this world it's one of my favorite 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 books of all time and while this book tried to meet that expectation it didn't quite live up to it one thing that I do have to say about this book I thought the ending wrapped up a little bit too nicely and I'm not gonna say anything because I don't want to spoil it for anyone and I felt like there weren't as many cool illustrations and cool formats in this book as there were in the first two books that's just my opinion like like this or or you know or this you know there weren't as many of these cool pages as there were in the first two books I feel like the series is one of the very few series that I've read especially in the YA genre where every book has been so so excellent and if you have not read the Illuminae series I would so highly recommend it I don't know what you're doing but it's so good even if you don't like sci-fi books at outer space read it because it's so so good all right guys so there you go that was my March wrap-up let me know down in the comments below what was your favorite book that you read this month because I would really love to know Obsidio definitely was it anyway guys thank you all so much for watching I really hope you enjoyed this video please give it a like if you did and subscribe to my channel if you're not already all of my social medias are linked down below including Twitter Instagram and Goodreads if if you like to follow me, I hope to see you guys on my next video. Have a good day guys and keep reading. Bye!